Hey there, fellas. Today we're in for another round of what some of the people in the comments like to call simply screwing around. So you might remember this here car. You can say that... It has really grown upon us. You guys may have seen this fun little video. Mind you, it's not the only one out there. Anyway, it shows a couple driving around with two steering wheels and scaring other motorists, making it look as if they're gonna ram the other car off the road. We gave it a bit of thought and we've decided to do something a bit different. We'll be installing a second steering wheel. But ours isn't going to be fake. I mean, that one was just for show. What we're looking to accomplish here is basically make it so that the driver controls the left wheel and the passenger controls the wheel on the right. After we do all the work, two people get into the car and head out for a drive to see where it all goes. Figure out whether it's possible to synchronize wheel movement and to see how the car behaves if there's no way to synchronize our inputs. So here's what we're gonna need. We'll need a steering box, a steering column and the wheel itself, of course. I think we'll have zero trouble finding all of that in our shed. Anyway, enough talk. Let's make ourselves a car with two steering wheels. How do you drive a car with two steering wheels? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. I'd say that we have a proper working setup happening here. That actually wasn't that hard. So we've installed a second steering box, which we've borrowed from a Volga. It sits on the other side of the frame rail, so it was quite easy to fit on this side of the car. That's connected to a lot of steering column. And as for fitment, well, I have to say that it all came together just beautifully. We've cut and welded the steering arms a tiny bit. That was a pretty simple thing to accomplish. There's absolutely nothing hard in that. Anyway, so this machine is now ready for some action. I say we head out for the test track and see how she do. Let's do this. Okay, so here we are at our favorite test track, which you've seen a bunch of times. All right, so there's nobody around today which means we have the entire track to ourselves. We do have two steering wheels. So I'm gonna have to call in Ivan to help me out. And here's our second pilot. So what's the plan, dude? I say we try going sideways. Tandem drifting. <laughs> so we're gonna practice synchronizing our inputs. It's worth noting that we are running two different kinds of steering boxes. One is from a lot and the other from a Volga. One of them is off by a quarter of a turn. Yeah. The Volga box does require more steering lock. I say we go for a ride. I'm sure we'll get a laugh out of this. You ready for this? Yeah. It is hot in here. Time to initiate a drift. Come on now. Where are we going? Whatever, let's just do this. Let's not overcook it this time. Go for it! What the hell is going on? One of us is trying too hard! It is very slippery. Very slippery indeed. Go ahead. Now we're talking. This actually seems to be working. Ha, ha, ha. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. We're not exactly good at this. We can't quite get this to work. I suggest we get up to speed on the straight and try steering in opposite directions. Just turn the wheels and see what happens. Let's do it. That should be pretty hilarious. I think I've had my fill, guys. The funny thing is that the boys have gone out for a ride. Wow, it is pretty cold outside. Anyway, when you work that steering wheel, it reminds you of competitive driving, where after even a couple of laps, you're all soaking wet. It's pretty much the same story here. Let's see how the boys do. You're gonna have a ton of grip now. Let's do this. You see that? After the two of us climbed in the back, Awesome! Not bad! <laughs> Alright, so we've driven around and had some fun. What do you think, Ivan? That was pretty hilarious, right? To be honest, it is not as simple as it seems. We got in there and, uh, how long were we doing that? Even if you go for just one slide, you seemingly know how to turn the wheel after initiating, but then we swap sides, but unlike Ivan, I'm not used to the Volga steering box, and as a result, I kept missing the mark. Anyway, that was hilarious. I'd suggest you guys try it if you have the chance. But only during the winter time. It is not a great summer idea, since you won't be able to hold the wheel on dry tarmac. Also, in a normal car, you get used to it stabilizing once you let go of the steering wheel. But here, that's not how it works. You turn the wheel in one direction, and once you let go, it just keeps on rotating. And that is quite frightening. It's also hard to hang on to the wheel. Now imagine trying that on asphalt. You are not gonna hang on to that wheel. You'll have an extremely hard time. That's exactly why you should stick to snow and ice. That was a lot of fun. Of course we completely thrashed the clutch, which wasn't feeling great to begin with. I guess we outdid ourselves here. Anyway, I think this experiment was a huge success. You guys go ahead and subscribe, watch our videos, leave some comments and suggestions, give us a thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.